This is the caterpillar. I'm going to stay around here, fret 7, 8, 9, and 10. Got a different finger for each fret. So 7 is pointer, 8 is middle, 9 is ring, 10 is pinky. We start off pretty normally. 7, 8, 9, 10. But then we leave all four fingers on, especially fingers middle, ring, and pinky. We're just going to move the pointer up by itself. Once we've got the pointer in position, then the middle comes up. But notice how these two don't change. We don't want them to move at all. Ring fingers next, and finally the pinky. Okay, so we'll go like this. E string, B string. Notice how only one finger moves at a time. Now on the G string, coming up to the D string, then onto the A string, and finally onto my E string here. Okay. Let's do that again. Just one finger moving at a time. We don't want that. See when the ring finger goes there, the pinky stays still. Notice how the thumb on the back of the neck is staying upright, it's pointing towards the ceiling. It doesn't ever do that, okay? Wrist drops down and arches. If you want, you can push the forearm to the front of the neck to see if you can get that pinky to work a bit more. One more time. Now there's a couple of extra things you can think about with this one as well. So from the top, you'll see that my thumb is kind of opposite the middle finger still. That's one of the things to think about. The other thing to think about is the fingertips. So th probably through the side camera, you can play with curved fingers like this and arch the fingers. But you may also want to think about trying to touch. So I'm on the E string, but I'm trying to touch the, the B string as well and mute that B string with my point of my finger. So I'm actually coming in slightly at an angle with kind of a almost like a flat fingered approach and I'm just trying to mute the string above the one that I'm actually fretting so if I'm on the D string now I'm touching the A string I move to the A string and I'm touching that E string very lightly I don't want it to push down towards the fret or anything like that but this begins to set up a left hand muting technique That's exercise two, the caterpillar.